Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Andy. I am the Senior Vice President for Mnet Design Services, ADS for short, and I have also the Asian marketing role uh, in the organization. Uh, we have uh, seven design centers across Asia. Um, we support the solution uh, aspect of the design chain of the company. Okay. So let me introduce uh, my company, Mnet. Avnet is a global multinational, a Fortune 500 company, listed in the New York Stock Exchange in, since 1950. Uh, we are the leading global technology solution provider, technology distributor. We work with more than 700 subs, uh, multi, uh, multinational suppliers across the region. Uh, in Asia alone, we have more than 400 suppliers. Okay. Within Avnet, uh, we have, uh, including Japan, uh, 56 sales offices with a headcount of more than 5,000 people. So the Fnet has been the business for many years. Okay. So even the word IoT being, uh, before it was even being coined, uh, Fnet has been servicing this industry, particularly in the M2M, machine-to-machine -machine business, uh, selling uh, you know, GPRS module, uh, GSM modules into the customers, which is, is, is the prevalent of our advent of IoT today. Right. So with that said, uh, Fnet Asia has been, as I said, 56 sales offers. We've been focusing on IoT and the advent of IoT by developing our end-to-end -end solutions uh, with our design centers across the region supporting customers. Hi, morning everyone. Um, I'm Christopher, the Field Application Manager supporting um, Xilinx products from Fnet. Um, today we're looking here um, is the um, uh, demo, basically um, on a smart uh, camera uh, based on um, Xilinx Zing 7000 SoC. So in this particular demo, uh, what we have is a smart camera doing analytics, right? And it's actually low power, right? And uh, it's actually focusing on Vietnamese traffic. So what happens is that when tra traffic is coming in, it basically goes into my camera and it does smart analytics and it actually detects motorcycles that are actually coming in on the screen. So um, how does this actually fit into the concept of IoT? In the concept of IoT, it is often not really necessary to transfer all the information back to the cloud for processing. So it's imperative today right, as that we have smarter sensors right in front that is actually able to do the processing. And uh, all this is all only possible with the Xilinx 7000 SoC solution. And also on top of that, we also have the revision um, solutions from Xilinx. And in the revision solutions for Xilinx, it's actually a complete solution that allows you to be able to build, quickly build, prototype, and um, uh, come up with the, the cutting edge um, smart solutions for machine learning, computer vision, sensor fusion, and connectivity. With this, I'd like to thank you. Good morning. I'm Shan from Fnet. Um, I'm the segment marketing uh, manager responsible for wireless and connectivity segment. Okay, in this IoT show, what you see here in our booth uh, is a LoLaWAN uh, full ecosystems demo. What the data that you see over here on the screen is captured live and displayed using a web-based uh, dashboard. So uh, in this demo, uh, we have LoLa nodes okay, that you can see over here. This is the block diagram of the full ecosystem demo. And then in, in the booth here, we have a gateway hidden in the cabinet. And then all the data that is forwarded to the gateway is sent to a network server that is hosted in France. And then the data is also forwarded to an IBM Bluemix, okay? uh, Bluemix Cloud. Okay. And then we are accessing all the data from a web-based dashboard and display the data live here. Okay. So um, we have a water meter okay, that is enabled with a LoLaWAN uh, modules. And here is the e-meter 
also equipped with the LoRaWAN modules. All these data are captured live and transmitted back to the gateway all the way to the cloud and display over the screen here. So this will facilitate customers who wanted to try out the LoRaWAN ecosystems. Okay, we are able to provide a, a POC, a proof of concept a demo setup for customers to try out the whole uh, LoRaWAN setup. Good morning, my name is Sami Anbuba representing Trusted Objects. I'm together with Laurent, our R&D director, and uh, we're representing Trusted Objects in partnership with Avnet. And our specialty is the smart security for LP1s. And what does smart security mean? Smart security means bringing the global security, total security, to the full chain going from the IoT to the servers. So let's illustrate with an example, a real example that happened very recently, and it's only one of many. As you can see, this building is glittering, and it's not a Christmas tree, it's not for fun, and there is no party in going in this building. What happens is this is a smart building with smart equipment, smart lighting, which has been simply hacked by a simple hacker with a simple equipment that basically anybody good in electronics and IT can afford uh, doing. So the hacker was sitting in the next building and simply uh, uh, doing whatever he wanted with the lights, and that's for fun. But you can imagine any terrorist action or other uh, less um, uh, well-intentioned uh, people uh, doing the same with smart lighting, smart cities, smart homes, and penetrating in your uh, environment. So the reason why those connected buildings, which are supposed to be smart and are supposed to be good for us, uh, have been hacked is simply because their security was not good. And the security is weak, not at the server level, not at the cloud level, it is weak at the edge device level, means the connected object, the connected camera, whatever, the connected equipment at the end of the chain. And this is where we intervene uh, as trusted objects by bringing a solution which is the most secure one. Software is not enough. It's only one solution. It could be acceptable depending on uh, the request of an application. But the best solution, and it's not more costly than the software one, is the hardware-based solution. So what we bring here is a solution based on a hardware. The camera may not be able to see the hardware because it's just this very, very small thing with one square millimeter here which is a secure microcontroller, temper resistant, a microcontroller that you cannot violate, to which you add a firmware based on cryptographic algorithm, which again are very, very secure ones. And the whole thing is personalized for each device with personal key, which becomes, so this uh, smart uh, microprocessors become really the security manager of the whole application allowing uh, uh, all the communication to be secured, allowing the devices to be authenticated, and so on and so forth. And last but not least, we can also ensure the security life cycle of those connected objects over the time. In other words, uh, during the life cycle, which could be 10 years, could be 15 years, could be anything in the field, the, uh, uh, we can over the air uh, and in a remote way uh, ensure the update of the different parameters of the objects. So together with our partners, uh, Avnet and Saffron for the chip, because very few people in the world can basically build and design those secure chips. So we have our solution here. We have our partner Avnet, which brings security value added services, as well as the whole chain of uh, the IoT from the cloud to the uh, end device, the integration of the solution and the delivery of it. And in the middle, we are bringing the secure firmware and all the personalization engines with, uh, in, in the secure uh, element itself. So this is in a nutshell the, uh, 
the solution that we are delivering, which we believe is certainly the most secure one today in the IoT business for the edge devices. Do you want to do a demo? Okay, we, we can have a very quick demo here uh, showing uh, an authentication over a LoRa protocol uh, of a data transmission. So you can see the transmission which has been done here. It's just a business card we have just translated. And the transmission has been done in a fully secure, fu fully authenticated way, uh, thanks to uh, the, uh, the secure element chip uh, through the LoRa network. So this is, in a nutshell, the, uh, the solution. Thank you very much.